Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about Neurospora and its life cycle. It belongs to phylum Ascomycota, class Sordariomycetes, order Sordarielis, family Sordariaceae, genus Neurospora. The genus name meaning nerve spores refer to characteristic striation on the spores that resemble axon. It is also called as bakery mold or red bread mold. Neurospora reside on soil, papaya, burned vegetation, etc. Well branched, multicellular, septate mycelium with multinucleate and multipigmented cells. Neurospora is used as a model organism for eukaryotic biology such as one gene, one enzyme hypothesis, circadian rhythms, mitochondrial biology, epigenetics, genome defense, DNA repair, post-transcriptional gene silencing. Reproduction in case of Neurospora are of two type. One is sexual, another one is asexual type. In case of asexual type, it is mainly due to conidia formation. There are two types. One is microconidia, another one is macroconidia. In case of macroconidia, it produces a large ovule, multinucleate microconidia, and develops in a microconidiophore branch tip by budding. Whereas in case of microconidia, it is a uninucleated, sticky and comparatively small than macroconidia, develops in microconidiophore on terminal or lateral position. Both these microconidia and macroconidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual reproduction is of two types. One is heterothallic and another one is homothallic. In case of heterothallic, there are two mating types that must unite to be able to grow through sexual cycle, which include meiosis. The two mating types look identical. The two mating types are determined by alternative DNA sequence at one chromosome locus. These are called mate capital A, mate small a. These two mating type sequence are totally different, so they do not represent alleles. Instead, they are called idomorphs. Neurospora crassa is most analyzed heterothallic species. Homothallic means any haploid individual strand can go through the sexual cycle by itself without pairing with another strain. Homothallic species do not need both mate idomorph sequence, but in some case, one or another can be detected in the genomic sequence. Their role is not clear. In order to able to go through meiosis as a part of sexual cycle, a diploid nucleus must form by fusion of two haploid nuclei. The Neurospora gallopogoensis is one homothallic species. In case of sexual reproduction, Female sex organ is called as ascogonia or protoperitica or bulbils. Develop as a lateral outgrowth in vegetative hyphae. The young ascogonium is coiled, multinucleated, aseptate structure. Septa is formed in the later stage of development. Pseudoparenchymatous ball like structure formed around the ascogonium. The upper cells of the ascogonium give rise to a long tapering. Trichogyne. Antheridia is absent in Neurospora, but both micro and macroconidia may act as spermatia. Coming to the plasmogamy, the micro or and macroconidia act as a spermatia come to the trichogyne of ascogonium. Wall between them dissolve, nuclei enter the ascogonium. Somatogamous copulation also occur in some species. Development of ascus. Development of ascogenous hyphae with uh, two cells having dicarion. The terminal cell curves and form hook-like structure called crozier. Conjugated division and septation of the crozier takes place. Four nuclei distributed in a way that terminal cell have a one nuclei and basal cell have one nuclei. The penultimate cells with a dicarion is seen. 
the two nucleus of the penultimate cells fuse to form a diploid nucleus this cell act as a ascus mother cell and it elongate to form a club shaped or cylindrical ascus the diploid nucleus of the ascus first divide meiotically and then mitotically result in formation of eight haploid nucleus each nucleus secrete a wall around itself and metamorphosis metamorphosis into ascospore in neurospora tetrasperma only four ascospores are formed in the ascus they are dark brown or black in color and have a characteristic ribbed wall the globus envelope of sterile hyphae enclose the mature ascogonium from all sides resulting in formation of perithecium the mature perithecium is a dark colored globular flask shaped and big structure which remains surrounded by dark pseudo parenchymatous perithecium the canal of the neck is lined by paraphyses and it is also present between the asci in mature perithecium the asci are cylindrical long and stalted ascospores germinate to produce new mycelium they remain viable for many years in neurospora crassa ascospores can be readily germinated by chemicals like furfural or high temperature like 60 degree centigrade for 20 minutes treatment thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you